Tonight, Purdue is getting ready to take the classroom to new heights, appropriately enough. Here's what we mean. Ashton Hackman explains how the cradle of astronauts is getting in the game of private space flight. On the Purdue University campus, suborbital space flight crewed entirely by Boilermakers. School leaders in Virgin Galactic announcing Purdue One, an upcoming mission to the edge of space featuring an all Purdue crew. We didn't have to build a rocket. We didn't have to invent a spaceport. We didn't have to figure out launch licensing and safety. All we had to do was buy a seat. Five seats on board Virgin Galactic's Delta class spaceship. Three seats are already filled. Aero engineering professor Stephen Collicott Purdue alum Jason Williamson and graduate student Abigail Mizzy. I was shocked and then to be able to tell my parents and my family the news, they were all just beyond excited, grateful, so happy for me and just so excited that Purdue is continuing to help me lead and do incredible things in aerospace. Purdue One is set to blast off in 2027, carrying the five person crew and their research payloads to the edge of space. In three minutes of weightlessness, the team will conduct experiments on the behavior of liquids in space. A suborbital mission, you're in space for three to six minutes. The entire mission is about an hour and a half. But you get the exact same view, the exact same access to microgravity, the exact same experience as if you're going to orbit. Scientific research done every day in classrooms on campus about to be put to the test in an out of this world lesson plan. It's this great unknown, this incredible place to be where explorers need to go and learn about it. And so I think it just brings all my hobbies really and all my passions together. Virgin Galactic and Purdue carrying on the cradle of astronauts legacy as the crew of Purdue One gets ready to blast off. Reporting in West Lafayette, Ashton Hackman, 13 News. Oh. And Virgin Galactic nor Purdue would comment on the price of this trip, but we do know the average seat price cost about $600,000 a pop. Two more alumni are going to fill those open seats. One of them's already reserved, but they have two more. We have details on how to have your chance at the mission mm, on this story at WTHR.com. You know, Angela Buckman is a Purdue <laughs> I alum. Know, yes, I, I, know. I nominate But you. we're all yeah. pointing at right. you. Along with all the greatest scientists yeah, from Purdue. She doesn't oh, yeah, want to go. Yeah, news reporter from Indianapolis. Oh, it yeah. would make a great story. It would. But Angela's a scientist. I mean, think of all the all the all you could yes. see of the skies from way up there, oh, Angela. I want to do the Amelia Earhart yes. expedition. Oh, the search so, for her plane. I'll yep. do that. You do space. Okay. Purdue, give us a call. <laughs> Our boilermakers. We're there. <laughs> Beam me up.